Hey everybody, Juice here, your host of all the Battle Reports here at the Long War, where we always keep it icy. Big special shout out and thanks to all our Long War veterans. If you haven't already, stop what you're doing, put your models down, stop eating a cheeseburger. They're delicious, but they're bad for you. Put it down either way, go to longwar.net, become a veteran of the Long War today. So you're back here again today to play the futuristic version of it, I see. Well, you know, I, I have a Drago Age of Sigmar version. Now I'm, br I'm bringing his army to the table. Literally <laughs> the 40K version of Drago, yes, absolutely, or of Age of Sigmar. So, um, yeah, man, um, I'm excited to, uh, to bang this down with you here today. Uh, without further ado, let's figure out exactly what we're going to be playing. All right, awesome. Hey guys, today I'm playing the Grey Knights with some Space Wolves and a Library's Conclave. Alright, over here we got our Strike Squad leading the way. We got Brother Captain Stern. Behind him he's got a 5 Maya Strike Squad with a side Cannon. And then we got two Dread Knights over here. In the middle we got the Conclave uh, led by, t by Tiggy and then just two level 1s. And then on my Allied Detachment side we have Ulrich surrounded by the, the all infamous famous Wolfen. And then some Blood Claws and a Drop Pod. All right, y'all, so here we go. I get to play with some big toys, and you know how much that makes me happy. I've got a little Knight Titan and Colt Mechanicus. Veterans, here we go. List breakdown is such. We've got double Dominus, just bare bones, 105 points, and we've got three squads of Cadillacs. Now, these are upgraded to the Cognizant Flamer. Okay, so um, we've talked about in length on the podcast and everything that you guys have listened to. You know how impressed and awesome these two units are. I am also rock here, back here rocking Double Night Titan. These are just Paladins with um, the Melta and the Battle Cannon base stock. I always love whenever I run two of them. If I'm not running the Gatlin, I love running Double Swords. All right. So, we're back. This is what is going on today. We've got a uh, Dawn of War mission structure mm -hmm. that includes Maelstrom. Yeah. Every time, John, you're in the house, it's got to be something different. We're introducing Maelstrom back in the game. Um, we haven't done that here in the Beats Lab in a long time. So, it's going to be fun. And I've got my Maelstrom cards are pretty cool. Got my Astro Militarium stuff, on, or excuse me, Astro Militarium. Colt Mechanicus stuff on them. Um, and uh, we've got... You got the trifecta of the yeah. Space Marine chapters here. So I'm bringing a uh, uh, Grey Knights, of course, and then an uh, ally of of uh, Space Wolves, and then a uh, Library's Conclave. Obviously, so good, good check mark, great on on those three armies put together. Um, so, what do we know about Maelstrom? It, you got to be a little bit of everywhere, and it really is because you have six objectives on the on the table, and you know you got one through six, and it, it really changes the whole dynamic of where you put models and how you play the game. Absolutely, how you play the game. You might need to haul ass one area. You might want to push with something, but you can't because the cards tell you not to. Um, so many times people get frustrated with Maelstrom is because it makes them play a game of 40k that they're they they just get one side of. I just got to kill. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that will literally lose you the game in Maelstrom unless that's what the cards say to do. Um, so I'm excited to, to bring this back in. We're not doing anything extra, no kill points, no whatever. This is literally straight Maelstrom or bust. Mm -hmm. uh, Slay the Warlord, Line Breaker, and First Blood are in effect. Um, let's talk pros and cons real quick on what you think is going to happen um, versus Colt Mechanicus. All right, so one thing is, is you got a lot of graph. And a lot of firepower. Grey Knights don't like Wrath. Come to find out, uh, two up guys with only four wounds ain't looking too hot. They're, you know? they're really not. And then the, the other thing is, is I'm bringing a low model count. So Yeah. And it's 1,500 points. It's, it's 1,500 so, points. So um, I was feeling kind of the same way. I'm sitting here. I'm like, dang, I only got like 17 models as well. You know, but it's 1,500 points. When we play expensive stuff, that's kind of what happens. Um, yeah. But you wonder what I will say, what I really like about your force is it's mobile. It is. Um, my whole idea is being able to kind of get on the on the board where I need to, and then, yeah. then Maelstrom. That's really good because I can kind of move where I need to. And matter of fact, John always coming in hot with some new sh that we haven't done here. You've got Space Marine psychic abilities will be shown here today for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got the ability to maybe bounce around the board, switching units, doing other things. So that makes you even more mobile. Basically, depending on what I get to roll. I mean, there's ways to teleport or because you have knights. I mean, if I roll on that table, there's ways to just do 
damage to the knights yeah, the, by psychic power. Absolutely, which um, which the Space Marines have never had before. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so conversely, I feel like my Night Titans are going to give me a little bit of the same maneuverability, not as well as you, but it's going to give me some constant pressure uh, maneuverability that the Cadillacs just don't have. Yeah, and see, one thing Death Star hates is D-weapons. Mm. And knights have D weapons. Yep, you know, I'm keeping it classy today. Mm -hmm. um, I have not been able to convert these up yet with the uh, all tricked out weapon rise. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to know what? Unless you're playing work on, they get expensive. They do. Right? They really do. I mean, you're talking 500 points. This, I want to have the Gatling. I want to have this and this, you know, but I'm, I'm base 4, 7, 425 plus weapons, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so th this is the cheaper, you know, 375 is a lot better. And again, we're at 1500 points. And I don't mind the swords when I'm running two of them. Two of them. Mm -hmm. You know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I like stuff in pairs. When I can have the chance to double charge up six, eight attacks, swing and D, I've got something working. Well, and see, and that, again, for this, I mean, because that makes me actually a little bit wor uh, worried because Reaper uh, Chain Swords, which, again, is going to cause me to say, hey, that's more worries. Multi-wound models? Multi-wound, not eternal mo models? Absolutely, brother. That's uh, that's definitely tough. Um, you know, also, the Wolfen. Ladies and gentlemen, Wolfen on their own are fast as balls. They really are, because they can get around the table. They're, they're bouncing around, you know, and... And they're just one of those really mobile, and they're bringing the Space Wolves, like, close combat really back into Ab it. You know, they're bringing it back in a way that isn't doesn't have Thundercap, mm -hmm. which I love Thundercap, but you want to know what? This is very, very solid. This is very comparable. Um, you know, and to be honest, it tickles the fancy of others that don't like the cab model, the cab aspect, mm -hmm. and you will see if you haven't already in your local meta. I know you've seen them here multiple times. Um, I've played them. i played against them. Uh, these Wolfen are legit. Um, well, John, without further ado, let's go ahead, dive into this game, and get some dice rolling. All right, let's go. On War Veterans, it is that time. Let's get this game going. Uh, John, this is for Deployment Zone Sites. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> tying already. Looking good. <laughs> two for two. Let's keep this going. Uh, there you go, John. It is up to you what side of the table you're going to be on. I'll go ahead and take that side over there. All right. You're, you're standing there. Be my left, your right. Um, so do deployment and then now decide who goes first, deploys first. Always, if I'm going to roll a six on something, uh, nothing makes me have to do it on that. Or, obviously, juicing people, which is seizing the initiative. I will deploy first. Okay. All right. Here's me trying to juice the juice. <laughs> and it doesn't happen. Doesn't. Let's see if you had Cody as... No. no. All right. All right, brother. Um, I will take turn one, and uh, let's get this game going. Here we go, veterans. This is turn one. Uh, as per the Maelstrom mission that we're playing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw down my three objectives, or Maelstrom cards. Okay, secure objective one, behind enemy lines, and uh, overwhelming firepower. I feel like I am definitely going to keep all three of these. And before we get it going, I also want everybody to see what uh, the fresh tech that Elric's Hobby and Games is putting out. If you don't already know, uh, this is the shit. This is turn one. Uh, what I like about this turn one counter, this is a, uh, as Robbie B has coined the term, this is a hobby eight. Um, hobby eight. Uh, <laughs> so we've got a turn one, and what I like it, that's bottom of one, mid turn one. So you get to remember, you keep up with it. Okay, now we're on turn two, mid turn two, and then there, so on and so forth. We also have this is great. You can keep up with kill points this way. It goes all the way to 20, zero to 20. Uh, we're going to be using the hell out of this for the um, Maelstrom, and it holds up to six Maelstrom cards. All right, so I, I'm going to start over here, do some movements, and these guys are just going to actually inch forward a little. Okay, uh, these are nice boxes for me to um, see how little I move in. I'm just going to go ahead and roll. Okay, get my 10 inches here. I'm going to just keep it tight somewhere right on top of these boxes. Okay, and then my uh, canticle that I dropped down was um, the reroll to hits. <clears throat> I'm rocking five units right now, so I get to reroll ones and twos. Okay, so here we go. This is this unit coming in hot for this dread knight. Now I get to go ahead and pick up these ones. 
and twos. Wow. Oh, Needing minutes. fours to hit. Have it there, little guys. Okay. And then now twos. Mm -hmm. I don't get to re-roll this. No. <laughs> Okay, two, four, six, eight of those, brother. Eight so four up tuckers. Eight four ups, or this guy has bit the dust. And, and he I is. think he bit the dust. Kapow. Curse blood. That's less than optimal roll, but um, math kind of says something like that might happen every once in a while. Um, so that is pulled out target priority for this unit. They cannot see anything. Um, looks like I'm going to throw, um, I'll probably only have one guy that can maybe shoot some, uh, John, would you give me some eyes on? You're good there. Okay. Just barely. Just barely. Will Just you barely. give me some eyes and make sure that he can see past this thing? Uh, looks like it. Looks good? All right. So I owe you, um, oh, six. Actually. No? Yeah, oh yeah. You can. Okay. You can. So I got six shots coming there. Again, re-rolling ones and twos. Can't do anything with a three. Oh, Horton, I don't know if you saw that, but I just channeled you right there. Um, I thought it was going to be good. I need to get better. There we go. And two more. So, takes a wound. Takes a wound. John has just did his due diligence and has found me my, my target. So, my paladin with the double battle cannon. First shot is going there. That is a big good nothing. And the second one. Yeah, that looks like it's going to hit the Night Titan. Or excuse me, the um, Dread Knight. So Six it is inches, moving yeah. seven inches. Look at that. Right, right on top of him. <laughs> Strength eight. That is a wound, brother. Uh, two, two up. up. He's good. Heavy stubber time. Same unit. Nothing. Mm, good nothing. So in the grand scheme of things, a very solid turn one for the Knights and Colts because I was able to get two um, Maelstrom points there. So move my dial. I was also able to bang down first blood. Um, I'm in a pretty good position, but now it's time for Wolfen to do what Wolfen do. All right, top of my turn, drawing my first three Maelstrom cards. And we have Purge. Score one victory point if you issue three or more challenges. Score one victory point if you completely destroy between three and five enemy units during your turn. Score one victory point for objective marker one. All right, those are gonna be some tough ones to get. We'll see what happens. All right, so top of my turn, I got a drop pod auto coming in, but being that I'm taking them as a strike force, I'm seeing if my strike squad comes in. And they do. Oh yeah, Long War says they do. Seeing how far the drop pod scatters, and it looks like he's going a whopping five inches. Lip claws are going to come out six inches. Roadblocks. So, we're just going to see if we can't take care of this knight this turn. Savage. All right, so that's their movement. Let's see where these guys drop. We have objective marker one, so we're going to see if we can't take these guys off the objective. That's you animal. Hit. I love when that happens. Go ahead, get your first scatter out of the way. Mm -hmm. You know this one's hidden. All right, start of the psychic phase. They get nine dice plus four. Okay, okay. I don't mind that. But now you've got all... This is... This actually... Wait a second, veterans. I think this is the first time we're going to see on camera the new Space Marine, all the psychic powers. John, do us a favor and just say uh, real quick what your guys have. Um, if you if you've got it right there in front of you. All right, so we got basically Tiggy and just two level ones. Tiggy's got he's got the electro shield, fist of lightning, and electro shock displacement. Displacement's the biggest one. That's where I'm trying to transfer, switch units, and still be able to charge. And then this the guy with the staff has veil of time, and then the other one has magneto. Whatever. I don't really Okay, know gotcha. Yeah, so basically the tech here is you're going to want to switch with this unit. Basically. Right? And then be able to charge off that. Yeah, and Sick. since they're the Conclave, Tiggy's casting all this and all his specials re-roll Yeah, two uh, re-roll. Yeah, I have so. That's, un that's unreal. So, yeah, everybody, that's why if you looked at the list or anything, you're like, yo, literally a random drop power five dudes. Like, that is like the most clutchest five guys because, you know, like, let's say his entire army was deployed in the corner. This guy comes here. I just, and you're I just I literally have to be 24 inches. Yeah, that's unreal. 
So we're going to start five dice right here. We're going to go Veil. This is for a plus, uh, basically, reroll sales, saves. Okay. Failed saving throws. Reroll failed saves. Which succeeds with four. Can't do anything about that. All right. Then we are going to go with five dice to... We're going to try to displace. We're going to try yeah, to transfer. Yeah, sure. Which goes off with three. I, I, I'm going to mess with that. Here we go, veterans. Here it is. Oh, oh my God. What did I say? Did that just happen? It really did. <laughs> and then the last thing we're going to cast is Sanctuary. Which is going to go off with two. Two up rerollable save. Not too bad. All right, we measured it out. It's 11-inch charge. Now, here's the question. Bounding leap. They are allowed to run in charge. Now, if they bounding leap, does it count as the whole unit, or or does it just count as them them bounding oh, leaping? Oh, I see what you're saying. No, I mean, to be honest, brother, I feel like... So you have a multiple unit. Now, I, I know this. Space Marines have been doing this for years. They put a jet bike in the unit, a jump pack in the unit, uh, everything else. The jet bike is in the back, and it slingshots forward and everything else. In my opinion, I would think that this these units would opt to run, okay? That would not say their run is not the same as their run. I would say that that unit runs, you know, this p portion because they have a special ability and you'd still be able to charge. I, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't. For example, um, over here on in the beginning of the game when I rolled a difficult terrain, this model was not impeded by terrain, mm -hmm. you know, so that's why he moved his. The same premise now when you're shooting, if the heavy weapon stays stationary and everybody else, the heavy weapon doesn't move, you know, so it still gets to shoot as if it was stationary because it didn't move. Um, so I would say there's a lot of things uh, that are set in the game as precedents to uh, allow you to do this. Um, we'll let the internet decide whether we made the right or wrong choice. Okay. All right, let's see how far they run. You get three inches. So that's going to make an 11 into an 8 with a reroll. Doable, doable. So we measured it out. It's an 8 inch charge now. So, and I get to reroll this. Hopefully we roll high. Six isn't going to do it. Yeah, and while you're rolling again, that, that, uh, for the internet so it doesn't blow up, um, this is not fleet. So he would definitely lose the ability of any rerolls with fleet the second someone else joins that unit, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's a universe special rule that does not confer. But this is a wolf and special rule. Mm -hmm. It just says they get to do this. It doesn't say that they get to do this unless something else is happening. It just says this is what they get to do. So for you know everybody at home, that's this is what's happening. Boom. 11 inches, that'll do it. That'll do. Around. I, I think I'm smelling a blown up night titan here. Uh, it's possible, but you get to strike first. Now, because I only have... Well, the axe is going to be able to, to go, but other than that, all the hammers. All right, here we are in the charge phase, so initiative 10. Yep. I got one guy. Oh, so my guys are initiative 5, except for the thunder hammer guy. So he's going to be able to get his... his his stack, and this so, is strength eight, right? So he's strength eight. Uh, so he gets two attacks base, and then uh, he's got rage. So he's gonna get two attacks on the charge. Absolutely. So he's weapon skill four. Yep. Hitting on so fours. He hits that. Uh, hits uh, hitting on fours. Uh, two misses, and then strength eight to armor thirteen. Need right? fives. Need fives. So two glances. Two glances go through. Can't do anything about it. Um, now I get my three attacks back with my Repia sword. Um, hit with one. <laughs> Nothing. Rolled a one. Rolled a one. All right. So now we have these guys going to be pop. Well, he would pop them, but he can't hurt them. And then these guys are all slowly going to move such a way that these the bat guys can't really make it there because I don't want them to get stomped. <laughs> well, we'll go ahead and do you want to get this out of the way first, the stomp? Uh, yeah, let's do okay. your stomps. So here we go. This is how many stomps? Two. Two, okay. So, first one, let me pull out a handy dandy little blast template. First stomp, we're gonna get, looks like these three, three hammers and a librarian. Here we go. Can't see it's it. a six. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so we know those guys are dead, so let's do your next stomp. Um, oh my god, it would be crazy not to. Is there another blast template down there? All right, so here we go. We've got, this is the first one. John, if you'll put it up there, I'm going to see if I can reach Tiggy. Not going to be able to get Tiggy, um, but let's see what happens to Ulrich. A three. So they take the strength six. So that is um, three hits. Three, strength six, AP four. 
Uh, two. And I get to reroll for for Vale, so I'm good there. All right. Wow. Okay. So let's just let everybody at home know just what happened. Well. So they didn't swing yet, right? So that they means swing, so. these three individual hammers, you okay. can just go ahead and roll twice. Okay. <laughs> because when they die, they get to extra swings. And now they're going to swing. Swingy make swinger tins. All right, so these are the four hammers that I have with their first attack. Hitting on fours. Now with Ulrich, I'm preferred enemy, so I get to reroll once. Got a couple pickups. Bam, bam, bam. Miss. Miss. Now these are strength 10, so I need threes. Yes, sir. So, pen, 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 glances, glances. So it is dead. It so is now, gone. Now, what is the AP of that hammer? It's AP 2. Looking for the big one. Let's do it. It's a 2. All right. Let's confer the holy relics that is the rule book and see how bad this is. As per the Beat Laboratory uh, rules, we always let the opponent hold templates. Um, ooh. I'm going to roll my scatter. Five inches back. Five inches backwards. Ooh, I think it's going to get some um, Cadillacs. So right center. I'll switch off. Okay, so it definitely gets a Cadillac. And the very outside. So this Cadillac is under, uh, is partially under the D, actually. Um, and then he's also in the middle and in because his base is so big. And then it looks like just... This lone wolfen that isn't removed as a casualty is in the very outside. So I've got a single strength four on you. Not enough. Nope. Oh, actually, majority is yeah a four now. Oh, uh, reroll, reroll, and uh, goes through his armor. So feel no pain, and he's going to take a wound. Uh, sanctuary is just plus one to the end bone. Yeah, just to the end. Just end bone. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now back here, you want to roll on the D chart. Just so a one. four. Yep. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. So a hard, hard turn for the Wolfen. Um, he was able to stop the the teleport, which was big, and then the stop to take out three storm shields. Now that was huge. Not, not crushing yet, because I was able to finish off that night. Um, take out a couple of the the cataphracty, so there, there is a, a chance that I can hold out. So I was able to kill out a unit, so I was able to score Purge. Now I wasn't able to kill enough guys over there to secure objective one, and I wasn't able to challenge because he didn't have a character, or I didn't have a character. So I wasn't able to get that one. But I'm, we're gonna hold on to both of those because I think I can get those next turn. Okay, turn two for the knight instead of knights. Um, so basically what we've got to do is this is still a very ridiculous star with all these psychic abilities. And now we have stuff in our backfield. Um, the one downfall about this army is it's, it can always move, but it is slow and steady. Um, so getting away is not an option. So sometimes the best defense is really good offense. All right, we're gonna do some blast in here. Uh, we've got went ahead and used the same canical because uh, I can use one canical twice a game. So we're gonna go ahead and burn that down, which is reroll ones and twos to hit. So double grab here before potentially I charge in. So reroll those. Can't do anything with threes. And then now looking for threes. That is four. So four dead dudes. All right, so we got the Dominus is up next. He's gonna shoot off his Volkite Blaster. Three stay there. And strength six. So that is three twos is enough. So that is three saves, homie. Three three ups. Oh, just enough to pow. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this unit of two. There's not enough firepower that I feel. I don't like shooting into armor save four guys with multiple wounds and feel no pains. I'm not getting the bang for my buck. I've always felt that way with grab. I'm gonna shoot, even if I gotta shoot past something, I'm gonna try to shoot and pick up models. So that's exactly what I'm gonna showcase here. I'm gonna take these Cadillacs and shoot past the Wolfen to the five man Blood Claw unit. 
So here we go. The difference between a hero and an asshole is if I pick up all five of these models. If not, this is kind of a waste. A uh, bunch of threes. Not good considering I have my doctrine up. Converted that. And then now these need to be threes. Four. And you are going to, because I'm shooting through cover, you're getting a five up, or excuse me, shooting through your own models, no. you get a five up save. And uh, two guys. There we go. But it's the flamer. So that is my turn to, I'm going to talk about a couple things. I opted, uh, so they their firepower brought down one Wolfen. Um, also, I was able to, I opted not to shoot. If this Night Titan that's alive, if that's a Crusader and has all the firepower, bro, I'm, I'm bringing it to bear and I'm going to put work in on this unit. It's not. Uh, the mission is Maelstrom, and I have a Maelstrom card that says get within 12 inches. So that's what I just did. So I picked up, I ran him instead. So this turn, I was able to pick up um, one two more maelstrom points because I ran so that puts me at four and I'm still gonna hold on to issuing a challenge I'm not actually no I will I got a dominus over here we'll hang on to that one so I held on to my two objectives so I only get to draw one this turn um, a secure objective five where is five I five think, is right here I think that's over there it's kind of doable, but it puts me right in the middle of all his shooting, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so since I'm kind of just down to what I have here, I I want to kill that Dominus in that unit over there because I have Secure Objective 1. And if I can get over there, I can, I can challenge the Dominus. But then I have this Knight over here, who I'm kind of scared of, but we might just try to ignore him because if I keep getting Sanctuary, his battle cannon doesn't hurt me that much. Alright, top of psychic phase. I usually like to roll high, but this time I actually don't want to give you dice. <laughs> Wait a second, Tyler. You're saying four dice is two minutes. It's two minutes. I, I want you to have one and one only. <laughs> there we go. It's going to be a six. Oh, you knew it. <laughs> you knew that was coming. So there we go. So we're probably going to have some perils going on right here. Alright, so... I need to. I need the one to reroll my save. It's I'm, big right now. Uh, I'm a. I'm a roll five. So all, again, only three successes. So and, this is and no perils. No perils. Uh, three successes. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Can I go two for two here with a sh ton of sixes? No. That's a good roll. It but is not a good really enough. good roll. Okay. I want, I want everybody to know at home, I heard it. I heard John's butt pucker to all-time tightness. So now the rest, he's going to cast Veil. He's going to use uh, four dice. It goes off. Uh, so he still doesn't peril. So we have Veil also, which is... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's the one to reroll. So that's gotcha. the first one. And then that, so that was Sanctuary. Sanctuary was number one. That's fine. Sanctuary, either one, I still wanted to stop him. And then... Let's go hammer hand. I like it. Just two, so it goes off. And then the final thing will be force. Force from Brother Captain Stern. Got it. Brother Captain Stern. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll both of them. And he needed both. He needed every one of them. All right, so measuring it out, we only really have this guy to shoot. So we have the heavy side cannon. So strength seven to your front seven. So six is glance. Assuming your shield's on the front. Shield's definitely on the front. So there's the sixes I need. I just need all of these to be long wars right here. All the long war right here. Giving it to you. Whoa. Oh, I got three. I mean, that's as good as it comes. <laughs> so three glances. Three glances. See if I can. All right, so one goes through, five left. All right, so we measured it out. It's about six inches. So we're looking to see if we can't get six inches. Oh. Lucky they get to reroll this. Yeah. <laughs> and 10. And they do. All right, so I do have some Overwatch for you. You do. I have uh, two Cognizant Flamers, so mm -hmm. that's automatically three. Mm -hmm. So majority toughness is four now, right? Yes. Okay, so four is to wound. That is three wound, five wounds, excuse me. So twos, I'm good. It seems good to me. So I also have the tactical objective to issue a challenge. So, I am issuing a challenge. Damn it. 
I have that one too, but it doesn't count. I was like, oh, that's cool. We'll just watch each other out, wash each other out. I looked at my card and it was like, if you issue a challenge, damn it, not the same thing. So I'm um, sure I'll accept it with the Dominus. That's yeah, going to be Brother Captain Stern over here. So he's just going to move, do all, do all that. All right, so the Dominus is actually up first at initiative 10 because of his data spike. So this is a single strength four attack. Does good nothing. And now you're up before me, brother. All right, so brother Captain Turner's got three attacks, so four on the charge, weapon skill six. Uh, that's better than I. So needing threes. Um, again, preferred enemy. Okay. So that's still a miss. So three hits. Um, strength six because of hammer hand. Cool, cool. Um, so toughness, four, uh, toughness five. So three wounds. Uh, AP three. So you'll get your two. Yeah, up. I'm going to get my two up save. And I apologize. I don't know why I said toughness five. Uh, he's toughness four. So, but force is up. Force is up. So mm -hmm. that means i got to make all, all of, of these. No ones. You're good. <sighs> okay. So at I1 now. Well, no, I have. Oh, I other have, stuff that I could have claws right? at initiative five also. That can go in. Okay, go so, right ahead. This, he's going to get six attacks because uh, two, three. Two for his thing, uh, two close combat and race, so five attacks. And he needs, uh, what's your weapon skill? Um, gosh, uh, three. So I need threes, um, re rolling ones, which still doesn't do me any good. And then, uh, strength, strength seven? Yeah, strength, strength eight, I'm sorry, strength eight. Okay, so, so that is wounds. Two both. AP twos. Can't do anything about it. Yep. And then I have Tiggy, who's got his four stave, his staff. So, um, he gets, so that's with hammer hand also. So, so he goes to strength seven. So three attacks. Yep. So everything hits. Yep. Um, and then two wounds there with the staff. And actually, strength seven and strength eight is basically the same thing. Staff gives you plus two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so does hammer hand. So he really is strength eight. R doesn't matter. But um, and now this is AP four. Yep. Uh, that you know what that means. One dead dude. Dead dude. And then the other guy, he's got a staff also with so doing his two attacks. So he misses. And and actually, uh, John, I'm so glad we did this. Uh, that was force also, right? Mm -hmm. So um, everybody at home would have called me on that. I'm so glad I just memorized it or remembered it. Uh, one actually killed him. Oh. So the other one is going to have to come down, bleed down to this Dominus. Okay. So the Dominus is going to have to make a two-up save. Oh, which he and does. he does. Yeah. All right. So I got Ulrich with his Crozius Arcanum. Yep. So he's strength eight right now. Uh, weapon skill six. Okay. So uh, four attacks. So gets to reroll once for his preferred enemy. And then anything but to wound. So that's four. Uh, four. So it doesn't matter. This is all fours. You know, no ones. No ones. Stuck in it. Man, making it happen. So uh, back in the challenge, mm -hmm. I've got um, my force or power axe. Mm -hmm. So hitting on force. Can't do anything with that. So that is one invulnerable save. So he's got a three up now because of Sanctuary. Okay. And he gets to reroll that. And he's going to take a wound. <laughs> he's, he is determined. Yeah, he's, just, he's like, no, I want that wound. Okay, and then John, real quick, so that was a one, so you beat, you won combat by three? Well, I still have my... Uh, oh, hammer, my, Lord my, hammer. My so hammer I was trying guy. to finish it before it was done. So he's got his four attacks on the charge, needing four, uh, needing fours. What's your weapon skill? Yeah, it's, four. It'll, it'll be four. So just one, and that'll be... Uh, In a vulnerable save. Invulnerable. Here we go. Can he stay alive? He can stay alive. Yeah, yes, yes, he can. Do, let me tell you, when I run my Warcon, this unit, j this one model, my Dominus, just runs through some saves. I love it. So, again, I am at minus three to my leadership, so I'm at a nine minus three, so I need to stick a six here. Does not. I fail. Can you try to catch me? I cannot because I have Brother Captain Stern. And Terminator. Here we go. So, how far did he go? Four total inches. Got me a handy dandy tag template here. All right. And here is where I will stay. All right, so I was able to get my challenge, but since you are still there, um, and I have nobody that's objective secured, we I am not capturing that objective, so I still have secure objective one. And then my other one is secure objective marker five, which I think is in that back, 
which is right there, which I feel like I can get next turn. So we we'll hold on to it. There we go. Both of these. So I have um, I get two cards. Let's see here, psychological warfare. Uh, score one if your opponent fails a morale pinning or fear. Uh -huh, okay, and secure objective two. Which right is here. right there. Hmm. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe. Let's get some tape measures and figure it out. Veterans, we had a decision. I have a decision to make. Uh, this is my warlord, so we want to do anything and everything we can to keep him alive and on the table. So we are going to pop the incantation of the Iron Soul to uh, allow me to have a re-rollable, stubborn, nine uh, leadership check here. So glad that I popped the incantation <laughs> right now. Uh, looking looking a lot better because that would have failed. So let's see if I go low this time. And I do. Nine. Just enough. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I've got uh, two Cadillacs coming in hot over here. I have no canicles or anything up to help me offensively wise. So I'm just looking for straight fours, no re-rolls. First glance, can't get mad at that roll. And uh, majority armor now is... I think three. Yeah, what's Ulrich? Three. Three, so yeah, majority three. All right, so two, four, six. All right, so it looks like Brother Captain Stern is the closest. And then from there, it's this guy. So we are going to look out, sir, to the Storm Shield. Absolutely. So it passes. He's good. So that's the first one. There's one. It passes. Oh, but he gets to reroll this. Which he fails, so now the field feel no of pain. pain. Are you kidding? He still me? doesn't get a two so, off rerollable with feel no pain. So he's he's gonna take this. Okay. So now brother Captain Skirn is gonna take this next one. Okay. He's good. He's good, and two more. You know, one more. He's good. Uh, this was a lookout dice, so one more. Yep. He's good. Hey, I was happy to get one in there. Remember, Maelstrom is what when you is what wins the game, not randomly shooting weapons. So I'm in another scenario here on turn three to uh, run my Night Titan instead of shooting it to give me uh, Maelstrom points. We've already predetermined that I am three inches away to get within the three inch bubble of the objective two. So here we go. Let's see if I can roll a three or higher. Three is what I get. So I will be able to bang down. This Night Titan running around the board has got me two Maelstrom points in back-to-back -back turns. That is clutch. So that was the end of my turn. Wasn't too exciting. Uh, the Cadillacs not being able to run is huge because getting out of this terrain, I literally rolled Snake Eyes. So they went nowhere fast. Um, so I wasn't able to put as much firepower down on this unit as I want. I do want to talk about, and I know um, we'll go into this more, but uh, at the end, uh, in the uh, battle report breakdown, but uh, what, spacing out how I did is uh, a great tactic to do against uh, when you're playing against stars like this. Um, but when you can't move out of terrain, I was not able to uh, put down the firepower that I was hoping to. So we just got to roll right into turn four or... John's turn three and uh, take it on the chin. All right, so since I've kept two objectives the last turn, I'm only uh, going to draw one. It's a uh, secure objective marker two, which is right over there. So now to secure that, I basically have to kill this knight. No, I don't. Y yes, yes, I you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna move in such a way, I almost need my star to come over here to try to kill this knight and basically teleport this guy over there to kill that Dominus so, so I can secure both these objectives and go forward from there. All right, top of the psychic phase again. All right, so we got our pile. Looking to look low again. Four. Magic number. So, bam, and then I'll get two, one more dice. Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to start with their plus one save. Um, so we're going with Tiggy. So their plus one save. I'll put it over here. So slow. And he succeeds. No. With. Good to go. And uh, before I cast anything, uh, I'm going to go for the teleport. Yep. Um, see if it goes off. So we're looking for... 
Uh, three. Three successes. No. Oh, I feel like this is all too perfect. I have four dice. He has three successes. We've been here before, veterans. Um, I'm looking for three sixes out of four dice. Second time in a row. Oh, so <laughs> oh, close. So close. I love it. Oh, this game makes me happy. So close. All right, so they get to um, shake and bake out of the situation. So, yep, yeah, so... I gotta switch, so Tiggy is going to go in his spot. He's gonna go in Tiggy's spot. Now, do they just are arranged, however, or in a circle? So now, basically, I can put them out six inches. Oh, wow, six so, inches from that point. I'm just gonna move these guys here for you, brother, and you can do what you like. So basically, now we have... He's got heavy stubbers at me, so we're going to move in such a way that we'll take... Let Brother Captain's turn take the first brunt. He's got to attack. This claw needs to be up here. Ulrich. I mean, there's no way. So the biggest thing that's going to scare me is going to be his stop. And you know this. So we got just two charges going on. These are two really key and clutch. So we're going on the Dominus. Okay. See if he gets it. And he's oh, yeah. going to get it. So I'll get a little overwatch here. I got three strange six shots. Hit with one, strength six, meeting fours. That is a wound. Uh, what's the AP? Dash. I, I saved it. Okay. But it was only a two. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so he makes it there, and then the charge here, which they make. All right, so we're going to start over here on this Dominus. This guy has been a bane of my thorn, so I really need to, this to really go through. All right, so initiative 10. Yep. I still have a data spike. Nothing. All right, so I'm initiative four. So, uh, one hit, one because you're we you're our weapon skill four also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. one wound. Um, one wound. All I gotta do is just make a four up save. You, that's it. Uh, stuck it. And you stuck it. <laughs> so now you get to swing back. I get my three attacks back, uh, hitting on fours as well, with one uh, strength five axe. So that is a wound. Ooh. All right, so problem here, since hammer hand didn't go off, the only thing that can actually hurt this guy is this hammer. Everybody else is basically rocking strength six, and that's just not good enough. No, but man, if hammer hand did go off, that's a whole lot of strength eight. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of strength eight that would be coming at you. So basically right here, needing fours. And this is at initiative step what? Uh, initiative step uh, five. Uh, I'm sorry, this is one. One. You, you, yep. you need to go. We need to put that back there, though. That was the yeah. objective. All right. Um, yeah, so I've got my three attacks. Mm -hmm. One. And the D-sword. So that's one strength D. Yep. Hmm. Who do I want to put it on? I'm going to put it on Brother Captain. He's got three up re-rollable right now. feel pretty strong about that. Uh, and he's going to need it. Consistent. Four ones with Brother Captain Stern. And I have to double check, but I'm not sure if he's Eternal Warrior. He, he is not. No, sir. The only Grey Knight that is, is Drago. Then he's papooned. So now we got my Wolfen coming back into it. I need all these to hit, and I need some, you gotta rock something. some, some rocking to go really going on. So uh, okay. preferred enemy still. Oh, yeah, there we go. So for no pickups <laughs> and a glance. Uh, strength eight, strength not enough. Strength, strength ten. No, he's strength ten. Oh, the hammer. I'm yeah. sorry, the hammer is strength ten. Yeah, okay, so, so that is definitely a glance. Nothing I can do about it. Takes me down. So let's see how many stomps I get. Three. Okay. So I want to make sure that I don't get this guy to give him free attacks right now. So I'm going to start right there. Yep. So here's the first one. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Do you, can you look out, sir? The the six of a stomp. I think you can, but it would basically go trickle down the line. Down the so line. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be good enough. All right. So both these guys are gone. All right, veteran. So for my second stomp, um, I'm only over the librarian there because I don't want to get free swings here. So let's see what happens. A five, so a single strength six hit. Uh, that is a wound. And he gets his arm safe. He's good. Good to go. And for the last one, another five. So two fives back to back and a good nothing. 
All right, so nothing I wanted to happen happened. I needed the Dominus to die and this knight, and neither one, and I did, only was able to take one one whole point off the wound. So I was able to capture no objectives. So basically, I'm holding on to all, all these. I'm going to go ahead and discard objective five because there's no way I can get that one. Absolutely. Veterans, I get two Maelstrom cards. They are Recon. One victory point if for every objective on the battle forward has, has been seen by the end of the previous turn. We'll see what that does. And then uh, Big Game Hunter. All right, so we basically, I did a little shuffling of some guys, moved the Dominus to a different unit, and we're going right into combats. So um, I went ahead, the one time I held, I held on to this issuing a challenge card for two or three full turns. It wasn't until the end of my turn three, I was like, that's not possible, I can't do that. And here I am. <laughs> I have the ability to issue a challenge and I, and I threw away the card because the Dread Knights are a character. So either way, moving right along, I'm gonna issue, um, or I'm, we're gonna be here, be mm -hmm. the first. So, so initiative 10, I have my strength four, canical or excuse me, um, strength for uh, data spike. And now with my canticles is what I meant to say is I'm gonna do um, the chant of the, excuse me, remorseless fist. So I get to reroll ones and twos because I am still rocking four units. I get to reroll ones and twos in close combat. So we got my initiative four. Um, my only three attacks, cause I didn't charge this turn. Needing four is a hit. Ooh, two hits. All right, and then anything but two wounds. So two wounds. Here we go. Here's I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this dramatic. Okay. Cause I know I'm sticking the first one. No way I fail the first one. Damn it. Can't feel no pain. That would I've made the second one. Yes, you would. Okay. Either way, Dominus, you did your thug thizzle right there. He really did. He because... is that dude. Because I, I need this guy almost over there, but I have to I have to stay over here to basically secure that. Yep, bridge. and John, just so you know, that was uh, my Warlord. So that was a big Dominus down uh, for the bad guys on the table. All right, got my Reaper Sword going into action. <laughs> He's the worst, the worst uh, Reaper Sword user I've ever seen. So basically I only get my two attacks with my hammer now. Okay. Um... But this is simul with your stops. Yep. So needing four to hit. Uh, and then it, and a, another glance. All right, he's dwindling me down. So now it's to your stops. Here we go, Stompy. Two. All right. Um, man, do I just go ahead and try to get this done? We're gonna go on top of the librarian by itself. Okay. Um. So one strength six. So one. And he's good. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just see it. Let's put it over both. Okay. Here we go. Three. three. So two strength six. Two wounds. We'll be putting this on him. Yep. Uh, he gets a reroll still, and he's good. All right. So that is the end of my turn four. Was not able to pick up any Maelstrom points there, um, and I am going to discard... Uh, one about uh, failing morale and pin checks. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, just to give a quick update, I have five Maelstrom points, points to John's two. two. Alright, so I get to draw one more Maelstrom. Uh, let's see. If secure if you at least one enemy vehicle or monster creature was destroyed during your turn. If at least one enemy super heavy vehicle or fair crash was destroyed during your turn, score D3 victory points. So I can do that. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder since you still have three left, but it is possible. So I don't really have any movement. Um, we're going to go to the psychic phase, but since I really only have the one psyker left, and then um, then uh, the dread knight, I only get two plus one, which is going to give me three. And Veil of Time is basically a warp charge two. But I lost all my others, so he's only getting this on a four up. So I need two four ups, which I got. Got it. Five and a six. So they get to reroll their saving throws. So on the combat, since none of my initiative guys can actually hurt you, it's on you. All right. So we've got the sword of fail. Ooh, Bessie's done so far. Anything but <laughs> one but. 
So, I have a six up Invul. Yes, sir. I'm Seems like ahead. the one I would take. Um, just gonna take it on the claw guy because he can't really do anything for me. <laughs> and he sticks it, dude. I want you to know, <laughs> whenever I've only had a six up Invul, and that's the only one I'm gonna make. <laughs> Love it. So now my two attacks black from my from my storm shield. And he fails with both, and with without Ulrich, I don't get to reroll those. Stompies. Whew. Three. Um, I'm going to roll. Uh, on both or just the like? On both. Okay. Here's the first one. Second one. Two strength six. Two. Starting on him. So three up in It's good. He's good. And last one. Again, two one more. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's dead. He's dead. So he's gonna get his two attacks back. He hits with both of them. And two pens. Two pens. So See there's what? a chance. So yep. you're telling me there's a chance. Absolutely. So I need one six to kill this guy. And I got it. So that'll be D three extra. So it's two. That's two plus the D three. Or one plus a D three, which is three. So one plus two would be three. Wow. Just enough. Just enough. I love it when a plan comes together, even when it's not for me. All right. So catastrophic table. It yep. has gone kaboom. How big does it go? Yeah. It's the one. one. Okay. So um, we'll put the. John, if you'll hold that for us. Put it right over the center there, and again. I don't believe that's going to get anybody. It's this plus an inch. It's about right there. Bunch of nothing. Yeah. Oh, no, look. It's a strength four on the outside. Okay, so yeah, a bunch of nothing. All right. Knight down. Didn't see that happen. All right, so I was I was able to secure objective one finally. Yes, you were. Now, I was able to c destroy the super heavy. So I'm gonna get D3 for this. Oh, you could take the lead with us five or six. And it's a four, so I'm gonna get two for this. So basically, we're tied on objective now because I basically have five. Wow, right? what a swing! What a great turn! Top of five, and it is a close one. Here we go. Maelstrom card says score one victory point if at least three of your scoring units. And none of your opposing scoring units, uh, opponent scoring units, are within 12 inches of your own table edge. Hmm. I feel like that could happen. All right. So let's talk about it. I am going to shoot the ever living crap out of this thing and mm -hmm. try to move my units back to my table edge to bang me down two maelstrom points. All right. So I moved my guys. Was able to get my three units. I did break him off to a unit by himself. So I'm able to get my three. Uh, I popped shroud song, and now it's gonna blast, blasting me, blast. With these guys in the back are out of range. So I've only got two here. So that is twelve shots, and I need to kill this guy. Not terrible. Looks like math. That dice was already there. And anything but. Oh, love it. So I have a four up cover save, so I, I basically need to save four of these. Yep. So math is not on my side. Just enough to kill him. Just one. enough to kill him. Because yes. he already had a wound. Oh, man. That, that is huge, everybody, because let's talk about it. I was able to, big game hunter, destroy a uh, monstrous creature. So there's a point for me. Go ahead and move it to six. And I was also able to get hold the line. I've got three of my units within uh, my deployment zone and got rid of the one that uh, my one opponent's unit. So that put me at seven. What a killer turn five. All right, so I, got, I get to draw two objectives. Let's see what they are. Uh, score D3 plus three victory points if you control every objective on the table at the end of your turn. That is impossible <laughs> for me. So I feel like that's getting discarded at the end of this turn. Yes. Score one victory point if you control objective marker one. Okay. Uh, I would have had it. Mm. So that's that's almost that's pretty much impossible for me too. But I can control objective marker two. The movement phase. I'm gonna move him like so. Come over here. 
Try to stay out of line of sight. These guys are just going to stay back here. So it's a quick turn one, or turn, excuse me, your turn five. Well, I'm going to still try to cast Veil. Of, uh, oh, turn. absolutely, absolutely. So, I forgot that so you had still. How many uh, psychic dice do we get? We get one. So that's three for me. So I need two plus, two fours, which I got. Got it. So, but that is the end of my turn. All right. Um, which gives me objective marker two, which only gives me six. So, so I'm down one down, tactical objective. Down one, and then now did you want to discard any one? Uh, yeah, that D3 plus three is getting discarded. All right. So now it is time to see if we go on to turn six. Would you like me to roll it, or would you like you? Go ahead. All right, here we go. It is a turn six, baby. Love it. So I also discarded my last um, objectives marker, or excuse me, Maelstrom marker, so I get three. Demolitions. Um, if I control three objectives, I get uh, D3 and no prisoners. All right. See how many of these I can make happen. All right, veterans. Got to tape measure some stuff out here. This guy right here is literally nine inches away from the objective. Okay. So I'm going to roll him first with their difficult train roll. If they get a six, I don't have to leapfrog this guy to move and then run. So here we go, 2d6, and I got it, boom. So they get to move their six. That unit now is locking down that objective. This unit is gonna lock down this objective, and this guy is just gonna move to the edge and lock down that one. All right, so, but I can't roll the d3 yet, so I have to keep going. Um, I have to try to shoot something in the shoot, kill something in the shooting phase. That'll give me two Maelstrom points from the other two cards. So I have these two guys here and two out of this three-man unit. I'm just going to launch all of them and uh, roll them all at once here at the drop pod. Not bad. Only missed with eight. And then I'm fishing for sixes here. I see two. Two. Now, th because this is so big, John, are you getting a cover save? I mean, I am obscure, that's for sure. So it's a five. So. And I, I agree. I think from both units you would be. So uh, five up save, sir. So I lose a whole point. You are. Um, so I'm already immobilized. So, so I'm gonna lose two whole points. You're gonna lose two, absolutely. Okay. So I wasn't able to pick up um, two additional. Maelstrom points from destroying the drop pod, so I only get my D3, two, I uh, like it, seven pushes me to nine, and that is going to be the end of my turn six. John, you're on deck. All right, I got a little hole to climb. I need to get three objectives. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I'm holding one that basically is one that I cannot get, but... So score objective, uh, score one victory point for objective marker four. I have that one. Boom! There's one I, of three down. I need this one to be the warlord, so here, I can get D three. Here we go. Here we go. Score one for objective marker six. Did not happen. That's over there, so that's not happening. <laughs> All right, again. So you want to go ahead and move. So these guys are. You're getting. Kind of closer over here, but they're pretty much safe. So these guys are just gonna stay where they are. These guys are. They're gonna go back to where they're still capturing it, but get a little bit further away from you. So, so that'll give me four. So that'll put me up to seven, and then I'll discard and objective marker six. Discard six, absolutely. All right, John. So I rolled last time. So okay. it is it is your you're up. See if this game goes to seven or stops here. It stops. It stops here. Great, Great game. game. Absolutely. Hey, everybody. You know the drill. If you haven't already, stop what you're doing. Head on over to thelongwar.net. Become a veteran of the Long War today so you can hear all the juicy details. See what I did there? About uh, today's game and potentially even spoiler alerts on what's coming up next. If you like these battle reports, check out thelongwar.net. Become a member of the Hall of Veterans today for the fastest growing library of war game related video content. Modeling, painting, and playing 
not to mention all the sick discounts I receive from some of our sponsors. TheLongWord.net is committed to bringing hobby back, and we can't do it without you.